In topology and related areas of mathematics a topological property or topological invariant is a property of a topological space which is invariant, under homeomorphisms. That is, a property of spaces is a topological property if whenever a space X possesses that property every space homeomorphic to X possesses that property. Informally, a topological property is a property of the space that can be expressed using open sets. A common problem in topology is to decide whether two topological spaces are homeomorphic or not. To prove that two spaces are not homeomorphic, it is sufficient to find a topological property which is not shared by them. Common topological properties Cardinal functions the cardinality x of the space x, the cardinality tower of the topology of the space x, weight w, the least cardinality of a basis of the topology of the space x. Density D, the least cardinality of a subset of X whose closure is X. Separation for a detailed treatment, see separation axiom. Some of these terms are defined differently in older mathematical literature, see history of the separation axioms. T0 or Kolmogorov. A space is Kolmogorov if for every pair of distinct points X and Y in the space, there is at least either an open set containing X but not Y, or an open set containing Y but not X. T1 or Fréché. A space is Fréché if for every pair of distinct points X and Y in the space, there is an open set containing X but not Y. Equivalently, a space is T1 if all its singletons are closed. T1 spaces are always T0. Sober. A space is sober if every irreducible closed set C has a unique generic point P. In other words, if C is not the union of two smaller closed subsets, then there is a P such that the closure of P equals C, and P is the only point with this property. T2 or Hausdorff. A space is Hausdorff if every two distinct points have disjoint neighborhoods. T2 spaces are always T1. T2 one half or Eurison. A space is Eurison if every two distinct points have disjoint closed neighborhoods. T2 one half spaces are always T2. Completely T2 or completely Hausdorff. A space is completely T2 if every two distinct points are separated by a function. Every completely Hausdorff space is Eurison. Regular. A space is regular if whenever C is a closed set and P is a point not in C, then C and P have disjoint neighborhoods. T3 or regular Hausdorff. A space is regular Hausdorff if it is a regular T0 space. Completely regular. A space is completely regular if whenever C is a closed set and P is a point not in C, then C and P are separated by a function. T3 one half Tikhonov, completely regular Hausdorff or completely T3. A Tikhonov space is a completely regular T0 space. Tikhonov spaces are always regular Hausdorff. Normal. A space is normal if any two disjoint closed sets have disjoint neighborhoods. Normal spaces admit partitions of unity. T4 or normal Hausdorff. A normal space is Hausdorff if and only if it is T1. Normal Hausdorff spaces are always ticking off. Completely normal. A space is completely normal if any two separated sets have disjoint neighborhoods. T5 or completely normal Hausdorff. A completely normal space is Hausdorff if and only if it is T1. Completely normal Hausdorff spaces are always normal Hausdorff. Perfectly normal. A space is perfectly normal if any two disjoint closed sets are precisely separated by a function. A perfectly normal space must also be completely normal. Perfectly normal Hausdorff or perfectly T4. A space is perfectly normal Hausdorff if it is both perfectly normal and T1. A perfectly normal Hausdorff space must also be completely normal Hausdorff. Discrete space. A space is discrete if all of its points are completely isolated, i.e., if any subset is open. Countability conditions separable. A space is separable if it has a countable dense subset. Lindelof. 
A space is Lindelof if every open cover has a countable subcover. First countable. A space is first countable if every point has a countable local base. Second countable. A space is second countable if it has a countable base for its topology. Second countable spaces are always separable, first countable and Lindelof. Connectedness connected. A space is connected if it is not the union of a pair of disjoint non-empty open sets. Equivalently, a space is connected if the only clopene sets are the empty set and itself. Locally connected. A space is locally connected if every point has a local base consisting of connected sets. Totally disconnected. A space is totally disconnected if it has no connected subset with more than one point. Path connected. A space X is path connected if for every two points X, Y and X, there is a path P from X to Y, i.e., a continuous map P, 0, 1, X with P equals X and P equals Y. Path connected spaces are always connected. Locally path connected. A space is locally path connected if every point has a local base consisting of path connected sets. A locally path connected space is connected if and only if it is path connected, simply connected. A space X is simply connected if it is path connected and every continuous map F, S1 X is homotopic to a constant map, locally simply connected. A space X is locally simply connected if every point X in X has a local base of neighborhoods U that is simply connected, semi-locally simply connected. A space X is semi-locally simply connected if every point has a local base of neighborhoods U such that every loop in U is contractible in X. Semi-local simple connectivity, a strictly weaker condition than local simple connectivity, is a necessary condition for the existence of a universal cover. Contractible. A space X is contractible if the identity map on X is homotopic to a constant map. Contractible spaces are always simply connected. Hyperconnected. A space is hyperconnected if no two non-empty open sets are disjoint. Every hyperconnected space is connected. Ultraconnected. A space is ultraconnected if no two non-empty closed sets are disjoint. Every ultraconnected space is path-connected. Indiscrete or trivial. A space is indiscrete if the only open sets are the empty set in itself. Such a space is said to have the trivial topology. Compactness compact. A space is compact if every open cover has a finite subcover. Some authors call these spaces quasi compact and reserve compact for Hausdorff spaces where every open cover has finite subcover. Compact spaces are always Lindelof and paracompact. Compact Hausdorff spaces are therefore normal. Sequentially compact. A space is sequentially compact if every sequence has a convergent subsequence. Countably compact. A space is countably compact if every countable open cover has a finite subcover. Pseudocompact. A space is pseudocompact if every continuous real valued function on the space is bounded. Sigma compact. A space is sigma compact if it is the union of countably many compact subsets. Paracompact. A space is paracompact if every open cover has an open locally finite refinement. Paracompact Hausdorff spaces are normal. Locally compact. A space is locally compact if every point has a local base consisting of compact neighborhoods. Slightly different definitions are also used. Locally compact Hausdorff spaces are always ticking off. Ultraconnected compact. In an ultra-connected compact space X every open cover must contain X itself. Non-empty ultra-connected compact spaces have a largest proper open subset called a monolith. Metrizability metrizable. A space is metrizable if it is homeomorphic to a metric space. Metrizable spaces are always Hausdorff and paracompact and first countable. Polish. A space is called Polish if it is metrizable with a separable and complete metric. Locally metrizable. A space is locally metrizable if every point has a metrizable neighborhood. Miscellaneous bare space. 
A space X is a bare space if it is not meager in itself. Equivalently, X is a bare space if the intersection of countably many dense open sets is dense. Homogeneous. A space X is homogeneous if for every X and Y in X there is a homeomorphism F. XX such that F equals Y. Intuitively speaking, this means that the space looks the same at every point. All topological groups are homogeneous finitely generated or Alexandrov. A space X is Alexandrov if arbitrary intersections of open sets in X are open, or equivalently if arbitrary unions of closed sets are closed. These are precisely the finitely generated members of the category of topological spaces and continuous maps. Zero-dimensional. A space is zero-dimensional if it has a base of clopene sets. These are precisely the spaces with a small inductive dimension of zero. Almost discrete. A space is almost discrete if every open set is closed. The almost discrete spaces are precisely the finitely generated zero-dimensional spaces. Boolean. A space is Boolean if it is zero-dimensional, compact and Hausdorff. These are precisely the spaces that are homeomorphic to the stone spaces of Boolean algebras. Riedermeister torsion. Resolvable. A space is said to be kappa resolvable if it contains kappa dense sets that are pairwise disjoint. If the space is not resolvable then it is called irresolvable. Maximally resolvable. Space is maximally resolvable if it is resolvable, where number is called dispersion character of strongly discrete. Set is strongly discrete subset of the space if the points in may be separated by pairwise disjoint neighborhoods. Space is said to be strongly discrete if every non-isolated point of is the accumulation point of some strongly discrete set. Bibliography. Willard, Stephen. General Topology. Reading, Mass. Addison Wesley Pub. Co. P. 369. ISBN 9780486434797.